when we talk about a broken heart we talk about a physical sensation in the body which is caused by certain thoughts negative thoughts for example when we think that our partner doesn't love us anymore now she loves somebody else it is actually your ego that is hurt your pride that is hurt it is not your heart that is hurt here your ego belongs to your fake self the fake mask that you wear in the outside world and your heart belongs to your true authentic self which most people never come in contact with nowadays negative thoughts and the feelings that they provoke are very painful and that is why we create a protection around us an armor around us this armor is like a wall we build around our heart we close up our hearts in the mistaken belief that the heart is the problem we never allow anything loving to happen again within us our dreams are the problem our ideas about how things should be is the problem we do not let things just be we always have an idea about how things should be we always try to control things around us and within us we have a hollywood happy ever after dream and it ended and our ego does not want to accept the fact that our dreams have been shattered it doesn't want to face the reality have you noticed how the mind goes on feeding the wounds of a broken heart by endlessly running the story of what happened to us endlessly thinking about what if things were like this what if things were like that it just cannot let it go that is why it is very difficult to let go of people who have hurt us we either go on carrying the illusion that somehow this love will come back or we carry hate and revenge against them we may think that we have cut them out of our lives but every time a thought about them arises we have an emotional reaction and no matter how hard we try they keep coming back into our thoughts especially when we are vulnerable or lonely whether we wait for them or we hate them we are still bonded we are still burdened these thoughts keep us bonded this hurt keeps us bonded either way we have built a wall around our heart to never love again hope is a terrible thing waiting for something impossible to happen takes a lot of energy from you and also turning someone into an enemy and hating them takes a lot of energy from you to close yourself off from your heart takes a lot of energy from you it hurts and this is what you always want to do when you block someone out the only way to let someone go and become truly free and get on with our lives is with gratitude for what they really gave us it is not easy for the ego which would rather blame and complain but it is not difficult for the heart for your true authentic self it is very difficult for your fake self to let go but for your true self it is very easy because it is in your nature to let go and love your true self has the capacity to see the positive even in someone whom the ego sees as a monster that is because your true self does not compare and does not have ideals your true self just sees the present reality as it is it does not want to manipulate life it just sees life as it is and that is why if you get into your true self you will be very blissful and very joyful and your fake self is nothing but anxiety and suffering judging is a quality of your fake self not of your true self your true self is not involved in the stories of your negative thoughts your true self sees negative thoughts for what they are your true self sees for what the other person is your true self understands that you have been hurt because you have been expecting too much your true self does not take this personally it understands that the other person also has problems in today's world not everybody is being their true authentic self and that is why they all have problems of the mind of negative thoughts so everybody has problems only a true self can understand this
the other person's behavior must be because he is covering up his own wounds of the past and with this understanding compassion arises and with that compassion you can finally let that person go and find peace within yourself it takes a lot of courage to shift from your fake self to your true self but if you are fed up of building walls around your heart and if you want to feel your heart flowing freely again then you can give this a try it is not a matter of forgiveness here this process is something just for you if you hate somebody you will suffer because you need to understand hating is something negative which is happening within you this is not just for healing wounds you are carrying from lovers but for anyone you are holding a grudge against or judgments about it might be about somebody who's dead or alive someone from the past or someone from the present someone from your family or someone from work it doesn't matter unless you go on carrying a grudge against somebody you are the one to suffer